Welcome ladies and gentlemen, it's Pixelated Apollo, thanks for stopping by and I hope you brought your fanciest uniform and you curled your mustache because it's time for more Napoleon Total War and this one is a massive 2 vs 2, no rules, large funds and a battle is about to begin with a massive rocket volley, here we go, fire, yes, that is so cool, I really really love rockets, here comes a returning volley, they are so awesome. Look at this. Look at the death and destruction. Uh, so yes, the battle has officially begun. And look at their volleys about to hit their side. That is so, so cool. So most of the time in online battles, rockets are banned because they have ridiculous range. They have unlimited ammo and they do a ton of damage. So you could just sit back with like a bunch of rockets and just slaughter armies. So I completely understand why most people ban them. But every once in a while, you just gotta let loose and bring some rockets. So this is going to be a very cinematic, very epic battle replay. Oh man, the French are really getting hit hard there. So this battle is, or this map is Waterloo. And this is a fight between Great Britain and the French. A very strange alliance, but it's like the ultimate alliance because it's two superpowers coming together. And they are facing the Austrians and the Russians. So we do have a little bit of time to look at the armies because it's just a massive bombardment phase. Look at this. I, I gotta get every, vo every uh, volley here. This looks so cool. Right into the Austrian lines. Looks like they're trying to take out the uh, enemy rockets. Oh man, that is so loud. I would not want to get hit by one of those. That would be terrible. And then we've got another rocket over here with the Austrians. Nice protection using this house as like a shield. Oh, that is so cool. That is so cool. Look at that. Here comes another volley from the French and the, the, the uh, British. So it looks like they would do way more damage than it really does. But it still does a lot of damage. It looks like it would just like destroy armies in one volley. But uh, let's go ahead and get started with the army comps. I, I keep getting sidetracked by all the, the epic volleys of rockets. Anyways, let's start with Russia. Russia's bringing 10 units of Russian Jaegers. That's a lot of skirmishers. And the front lines, he's got them in loose formation. And then he's got some in tight formation in the back here, marching forward. And then he's got like 4 units of 12 pounder unicorn, which is kind of ridiculous. Unicorn are, is also another great artillery piece. It, they will do a lot of damage and then he's got like one unit of lifeguard foot so at least he's bringing some line infantry because he's gonna need that yeah you really don't want to bring any any more than like five light infantry you want to bring at least some line infantry it's like the backbone of your army there we go there goes the unicorn let's see it crash into the uh, Brit the British lines here oh my God. did you see the guys fly did you see them fly? That was beautiful. Oh my god, the unicorn's nastier. It seems like it does more damage. Just has uh, less of a reach. And then let's look at the Austrians really quick. He's mostly bringing German Fusiliers. He's got his general over here, General Staff. He's got some lights. I think he's got about two units of Jaegers. He has two rockets. And he's got two units of the six pounder foot artillery and one 12 pounder foot artillery, which he's currently setting up right now. So more artillery fire. This is a lot, a lot of firepower. Oof, ooh, baby. Anyways, let's look at the final army comps, starting with Great Britain. He's bringing a lot of rifles and a lot of foot. In fact, that's most of his army. He has two rockets, two units of rockets, and he has two units of, I think he's got like two or one unit of King German light, light foot. Oh my god, it's so shaky. Just like an earthquake. And then we have both generals over here hiding away so they don't get assassinated from a rocket. And then we have a couple dragoons taking shelter in the, in the uh, small patch of trees. Staying hidden from those damn rockets. Look at this smoke and like craters. Every, it looks like the surface of the moon. Minus the grass and the dead redcoats. <laughs> and then over here we've got the French. He's bringing a couple skirmishers. He's mostly got the fusiliers of line. They're all ready to fight. Ready to do battle. And then over here we have some Grenadiers of Line and some Dutch Grenadiers. Old Guard, very nasty Old Guard. Look at them. Oh yes, the Old God. Fear the Old God. He's got more Polish Legion over here. And of course the Rockets. He's got some Cav and his General is back there. And those are the armies. 
and the bombardment phase will continue on for quite some time. But if you look at the death here, this looks like a lot of casualties for Great Britain. So they might want to push forward and try to fight Russia because Great Britain has the line infantry. Russia doesn't. He just has to get there without taking too many, too many casualties. Good God, look at all the craters. Oh, the unicorn of justice. Could you imagine just being in this unit? Look, look this is your point of view. Just smoke. You, you don't really see it coming. You can't really see the enemy. You see your, your rockets firing away. And then you see their rockets firing towards you. Like, hold men. Do not be afraid. Oh, we're safe. They missed us. They missed us. Oh, I don't know about that one there. Whew. Just like shards of metal crashing everywhere. Good God. Okay, so yes, here comes uh, Great Britain. They're pushing forward. He's moving up his rifles, and he may be outmatched in the skirmish department, but again, if he can just get his line infantry up there, he should be able to cut down all those Jaegers. I think Russia's going to hold this hill. Oh my god. I just love the sight of those rockets in the background. Oh, and it looks like the rockets are now focusing their attention on the unicorns. Oh my god, it's like a massive earthquake. Here we go. Looks like he's going to wait a little bit before he moves forward. He's, he's trying to think of a good strategy. You know, honestly, he should try to get his Dragoons in the mix. Which I think he is moving out his Dragoons. Because they are really good at running down light units. Uh, man, this game is just so epic. It's just, it looks so beautiful and it runs so smoothly. Just, it's so, it's such a well-optimized game. More volleys going in. It looks like now he's focusing on the Russian Jaegers. Oh, man. Now now imagine being a, a Russian Jaeger. You're kneeling in the grass, hoping that they don't see you. The good thing is that you're wearing a green uniform, so you blend in well with, with Mother Nature. I could just, like, slowly pan over these units all day. It's just it's that beautiful of a game. Oh, God. Here we go. Here comes another volley. Didn't really kill a ton. And look at they're not phased at all. They're like, just another another day of battle. <laughs> this is what I was trained for. So yeah, I don't know what he expects to do with all these Jaegers. But we'll see if this strategy works out. Because Great Britain is now pushing on the flank. He's got his foot marching forward. Man, this is... It's like watching a movie. It's, it's that great. It really is. Uh-oh. We do have some fire uh, gunshots. But they are mostly firing into the ground... I don't know why he didn't take the edge of the hill right here because that's going to give him a, a better angle. But now he's 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 got a terrible angle. He should have pushed them up forward. I don't know why he was so passive with them. Uh, but now the line infantry is about to uh, get on their flank and get a really good angle on them. Looks like France is also moving up forward. And they're going after the artillery. The artillery sw uh, switched to uh, grape shot or canister shot. They're going to try to, to weaken the, uh, the French skirmishers pushing forward. Oh my god. Careful, men. They've got rockets. Oh, the, the British here trying to form up. They're taking a lot of losses here. Heavy casual. Oh, this poor soul. He's like, my leg. Oh, no, just a flash wound. I'm good. Getting back into formation. Don't mind me. There we go. Nice line of rifles coming from the brush. And here goes a cab charge and the defenseless, de defenseless Jaegers, the Dragoons going in. Uh, but we do have the lifeguard foot forming square. He's got to bring more line infantry, really does. Uh, but they're going to tear up these Jaegers. Absolutely slaughter them. And he's going to go for more. He's going for the unicorns. He's not going to slow down. This is really, really good. Uh, but we do have some Jaegers in the back trying to protect them. Let's see if they can get enough kills to break the, uh, the British Dragoons. The rockets are still going. Oh my god, I saw a flying Russian. <laughs> they are flying all over the place. He took a rocket to the moon. But it's not that kind of rocket. A rocket of death. Uh, but it looks like the Dragoons are getting cut down by the secondary line of Jaegers. Let's see what's going on over here. The Austrians pushing up their, their men. But the French are not going to push forward. Uh, because, he, you know, he can sit back. He's got the firepower. 
And with the help of the uh, British rockets, he's going to do a lot of damage to the Austrians. But I do love the aggressive play here from Great Britain. Uh, he probably probably should push up his, his foot units. Not really a good angle there. A lot of, you know, a, a big hill right in front of their face. Uh, this unit's got a little bit better of an angle. But really, he's winning the battle right here. This is a really good flank. I don't know why he's so, uh, he's so passive with his line troops. He should just get them straight into the fight. Uh, but I like the fact that he formed a little bit on the flank so he doesn't have to worry about his own rockets and he can continue to fire his rockets. Oh man, this is the smoke and everything. It's just so, so cinematic. Uh, they're reforming. Looks like they're going to stretch out their lines a little bit. The Russians are pushing up their uh, Jaegers up on this line. Oh, no, this is the uh, lifeguard foot. They're going to fall back, actually. Here comes another volley. Look at all the dead cav. Oh my god, these Jaegers are taking a beating. Oh, and the French are, are sending over some, some cav to support his ally in his fight. And again, the cav's going to do very well against these defenseless uh, Jaegers. Uh, but the cav is starting to break. It's just too much for them. Since the, uh, the Jaegers are occupied, Great Britain should definitely push up his troops. But look at this. Here comes some support. We've got some Jaegers from, from Austria pushing on the uh, British rifles, but they are outgunned and outmatched, outpositioned, and they are going to lose this battle. Look at all those rifles up there on that nice hill. Reloading their guns. Yeah, he should just push them up. Like, he can end this battle right now. Just get them up on that hill because they're wasting their, their ammo. Oh, I guess he just wants the rockets to continue to, uh, you know, to crush the, his enemy, enemy infantry. Uh, but the unicorns are still active. He's still firing the unicorns. I, I believe he's firing at the, uh, the British lines here. I get, look at that. They're just wasting bullets in the dirt. And I don't understand why line infantry has limited ammo, but artillery doesn't. Like, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Oh, the rockets from Austria. Come here. Oh my god. Hold man, hold. Look at the look at the vibration. That is crazy. That is a, that's a little over over uh, over the top. Uh, but there we go. The Ye the uh, Russian Jaegers. Looks like he's trying to reform to go, you know, toe to toe with the uh, the foot. But they just they can't handle line infantry and they're going to break from the fight. And look at this hill. Like nobody's killing anyone because of this train. In Austria making a very bold move. He notices that the French are pretty far away, so maybe he can kind of double-team Great Britain and take him out of this match. Just rockets everywhere. Rockets everywhere. Uh, but yeah, Great Britain's really trying to get around his flank, put some pressure on his lines. I'm actually surprised these guys are still in the fight. It's mostly because they're safe, you know, in their terrain. But they've been getting hit hard from the rockets. Oh, here comes another volley right into the uh, the artillery of the uh, Austrians trying to take out their, their firepower. Artillery is just so important, especially in this time period. There we go. Now they're pushing up on the hill. Got smoke coming up from these craters. Death is all around them. He still needs to push up these men. They're still not in the right position. More rockets coming down. Let's go ahead and turn on the minimap so we can see, you know, the formations and stuff. God, look at all the dead green coats. Look at that. So much death at this battle line right here. And we got a new wave of Jaegers pushing forward. Let's see if he can retake this position with the help of his, uh, his Austrian ally. But the French, they noticed that the Austrians are pushing against his ally. So he's pushing up his uh, Fusiliers of Line. Vive la France! And they're going to bring the fight to the Austrians. Oh my god. It's just like smoke everywhere from the artillery and the guns. Ooh, they're getting hit hard. Take the positions, men. Form up. Get ready to fire. 
Uh, this is actually a pretty good position for the Austrians. They've got a nice slight terrain advantage, but I don't know if they can compete with all those French guns. More rockets supporting this fight. Look at that. And we got more line infantry charging forward, but this is not good. He's getting a lot of friendly fire over here. He's got his Jaegers behind his line infantry. He needs to form up his lines a little bit better. And then we have some French lines charging up this way. Dutch Grenadiers. And then what do we have over here? The Old Guard. Oh yes, the Old God. You know things are getting serious when the Old Guard are committed into the fight. Looks like the uh, Great Britain is taking this hill. The Russians are doing a little bit of a tactical retreat. Actually, they're not really retreating. They're just running out of men. Uh, but he's going to try to hold with his Jaegers. He's, he's really focusing his power right here. And look at this. We've got a nice infantry charge into the unicorns. Oh, they're changing into the canister shot. Let's see if they can get another volley. Please, one more volley. Oh, the rockets are now firing. Oh, that guy went flying. He went flying. And now they're stuck in melee. Ow, wow, they actually broke this unit of foot. They broke the unit of foot. But they still have a lot more uh, infantry they have to f deal with. Are they breaking too? Oh my god. They broke the troops. And then he's going to run them down with his Russian general. To make all... Oh, did you see the canister? Sh oh, volley. Uh, here comes more troops. We've got the King German Legion charging. They're going to try to uh, finish his job here. Look at it. Oh, they're stabbing that poor soul right there. Come on, Russian Jaegers. <laughs> see, this is why he needed line infantry. If he just brought, like, four units of line infantry, I think he could have won this one. Oh, Whoa, the Grenadiers throwing their grenades. What is this? What do we have? Grenadiers of line. What? You see how fast they're reloading? What the heck? What is going on there? That was, that was glitchy looking. So now they're supporting their ally. France still has a lot of reserves back here that he did not push up. I'm quite surprised by that because Austria is on the march. They are pushing and this battle is still dead even. I'm I'm actually really surprised how well the Russians are doing. I think it's because Great Britain made a lot of big mistakes there but not, you know, he honestly all he had to do is push forward his infantry, his line infantry, and it would have been over in seconds. But he was really passive with them. He had a lot of his troops, you know, kind of in this awkward position where they couldn't get a good shot. And that really protected the Jaegers from, you know, going toe-to-toe -to -toe in a gunfight against line infantry. That's not what you want to do with skirmishers. You want to keep them out of the fight. Oh, man. It's like a trench over here. It's like World War One over here. With all the rockets. Uh, but the unicorns are still fighting on. But it looks like, I believe, the King German Legion foot is going to take victory here and slaughter the unicorn. And now the um, Austrian artillery is, is exposed. So he needs to quickly try to focus their attention on the British that are coming over this way. The Russians are now retreating to try to get away from those, those uh, grenadiers, which is probably pretty smart. Let's see who's going to take victory here today. Oh, they're getting hit hard by artillery. Yeah, they're firing into the artillery now. Oh my goodness. So much artillery. This is explosive match. Very, very explosive. We got a little bit of a skirmish battle here. Got Jaegers versus the uh, Voltigeurs. Or no, these are rifles. The British rifles. So both sides kind of resting up after that chaotic battle. But they're still pushing on this flank, still pushing on the Russians. And the Grenadiers are getting closer and closer. The rockets are still unleashing hell upon the troops. The sky is falling, but the battle must continue. Oh my god, did you see? Oh, they traveled like 50 yards there. That is ridiculous. Oh man, those poor souls. And the Jaegers... They're, they're taking out their bayonets. I would not want to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with some grenadiers. They are known to fight in melee. Oh, he just stomped on his face. They have to fight in the middle of a rocket storm. Oh, they got hit hard there by some rockets. My 
goodness, this battle is beautiful. So yeah, he might as well just commit his uh, his grenadiers into the melee, because that you know grenadiers are so good in close combat. The grenadiers were usually taller men, very big, tall men, who had the grenades and were pretty skilled in melee. It's more of an intimidation unit than anything else. You get them up close in the fight. Old Guard were similar like that too. Old Guard were usually, you know, war veterans, big men who've seen a lot of action, very skilled. Oh, Austria, come on. Move up your lines. Don't clump them up so much. Those rockets are going to tear them apart. I like how passive the French are being. I mean, they, they're not even concerned. They've got their nice Polish legions sitting back here. Not a care in the world. They're like only attacking with half strength. And Austria should be taking advantage of that. Like he should be pushing and taking out these guys. Because his flank is completely exposed. We've got a, a small force of French and British pushing on the artillery. The rockets are soon going to be... Oh, yep. The rockets have been lost. The uh, King German Legion. This unit's on like a melee rampage took out this rocket so they're down to just one rocket which is pretty banged up they lost some casualties there or took some casualties uh, but they still have a couple uh, volleys left in, in them oh what is this a massive chain route they just can't handle the rockets and they are breaking from the fight and look at all of the dead soldiers on the battlefield a little bird's eye view this is where most of the action took place here and it looks like this is going to be a victory for France and Great Britain and both sides made a lot of big mistakes but the biggest mistake that the russian made or the russian player made was not bringing enough line infantry and his formations here were a little too thick he really like clumped up his troops and austria was a little too passive i think if he pushed really hard he could have he could have taken out the uh, the french forces here but since they had that support of the rockets they are just crushing their souls uh, we do have one unit standing their ground. German Fusiliers not giving up just yet. They will they will not go out without a fight. Let's see, what are they firing into? The old guard. Oh, I would not want to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the old guard. Especially with rockets hitting me. Okay, who's running? Okay, so we got some German Fusiliers over here. In melee with the uh, the rifles, you definitely don't want your skirmishers in melee. So this is a battle that the German Fusiliers should win, but I don't think it's going to be like game changing. In fact, we have some uh, foot getting behind them, so they might be able to get some early shots off. Oh no, they're breaking! They're breaking! What the heck? They're like, nope, we had enough. Uh, the rockets are just shattering these uh, these poor troops here. They are routing from the battle. Uh, what a very explosive round. Very fun battle. Uh, I definitely want to see more battles with rockets. And then we've got a very brave French charge here. Uh, Fusiliers of line. They're going to take the hill. Charge in. Look at the officer with his sword out. Uh oh, rockets coming in though. Some friendly fire. Oh my god, that guy went flying. Sometimes you just see guys like take off. There we go. That's the battle, guys. That's all she wrote. And that is why rockets are banned from most online battles. Uh, so this was a pretty clear victory. They did a pretty good job on bringing, you know, putting pressure on their forces and, you know, exposing their weakness, which is the lack of line infantry. Um, so very great battle good game to all the players this was sent in by captain VAC beard so thank you so much for the battle replay he got 932 kills look at this Russia getting the most kills which is kind of surprising because he had the strangest army comp but I think thanks to his artillery and the Jaegers holding their ground for a decent amount of time he really racked up this ki those kills and then you know if, if you look at the kills it's actually looks more even it's kind of strange, but uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this very explosive battle of Napoleon Total War. If you enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like and a comment, and I will see you guys next time.